Fitz, 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 he's throwing the Fitz. It's the Fit Show. Everybody, what's up? Welcome to the show. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit under the weather today. And it's crazy when I get under the weather, it's like I really amplify times 1,000. Mm-hmm. So I feel pretty good right now, but I feel like crap, but I feel real good. You're in show mode. Yeah, show oh, mode. That's interesting. I feel real good, but I feel like crap, but I feel real good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it has been something. I mean, it's, it's definitely been the flu. Tanner the Millennial is basically a, uh, he's a walking Petri dish anyway. He's a host. Yes, and he came <laughs> yeah. in, he, he came in last, <laughs> Tanner the Millennial came in uh, last week and just passed the funk to all of us so I'm thank so, you so much for letting us uh, yeah go ahead i wash my hands so much i tried every single precaution to not get you guys sick and i'm sorry but it happens you washed your hands i wash my hands but fitz doesn't wash his hands so that's fitz gonna be washes a problem his hands. Girl, well, you, you wish you're as clean as me jenna well you have look the at, the, look at jenna's fingernails oh, oh they're disgusting. gross they're so yucky there is some crazy stuff under uh, fingernails right yeah, yeah. All and sorts th- of uh, bacteria and, like, I mean, horrible stuff. Well, luckily, I bite my fingernails, so that's there what, is none. That's how you get the that's fuck. That's how you get it in your mouth, Jenna. Oh. But that might also be how you build immunity. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. You know, I really, Exposure. I really admire um, everybody who works in the medical field and stuff mm-hmm. because, really, I admire their immune systems. I mean, because they're they're around the crap all day long, and they have got a, a wall. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Flu people all day long, people hacking all sorts of stuff, urine samples. And it's we're like, we're guys, almost too clean, so we're susceptible to disease. Like they say, right. when kids used to play in the dirt and make mud pies and you know lick window panes or whatever kids used to do, <laughs> what? that they were exposed to everything and all kinds of filth and dirt yeah. and germs, and so we grew up stronger. Like no kidding. you and I, right? So why do you now think I'm sick keep, all the time? Now that yeah, people like bathe their kids in Purell and, and <laughs> right. keep them in antiseptic environments, they are susceptible to everything. So maybe the doctors and nurses are benefiting by getting exposed to everything. Oh, that's, that's smart. really interesting. You know, my my daughter Drew, who's five years old, she has like a little Purell little thing in her backpack, and these kids are allowed to take it out anytime and clap and rub their hands <laughs> on it. You're not supposed to have hand sanitizer because it has 99.9 percent of killing germs, but that one per like point zero one percent or whatever will really jack people up. Well, you know what's bizarre is so Tanner the Millennial last week when you brought this horrible sickness to everybody in the studio, you started taking antibiotics, right? And well, then and then and then your girlfriend has pneumonia as we speak. Great. Yes. The, and, and and by the way, I haven't I haven't taken the antibiotics yet because I know that by taking those antibiotics and stuff, I mean basically our body is 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 um fighting off those antibiotics now, right? Yes. Well, is that what's happening? Because we got so accustomed to taking antibiotics all the time whenever you'd have any sort of health issue whatsoever. So we've taken too much antibiotics mm-hmm. and then our immune system's just used to it by now. Well, also yeah. the antibiotics are, they're kind of like a shotgun blast. They go after all of the organisms, all of the mm. biotics. So it, get, it gets the good bacteria and the bad the bacteria. the good and the bad. So a lot of time after a cycle of antibiotics, you have to do some stuff to reset your, your good flora, like your stomach flora and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, good probiotics and stuff. Do you really things. need some good stomach flora? No, you mm-hmm. really do. Yeah. Like 70% of your health is in your gut. I know that. Okay, well, I'm that's where you. your flora lives. Mm. All right, then I'm all about some good flora. Uh, so, uh, wait, listen, welcome to the show today. Health any, talk. Any? Yeah, welcome to Health, the Medical Minute. <laughs> With Dr. Um, Fitz. But I'm always looking for, like, ways to, you know, fight this stuff. So we'd love to hear from yeah. you. Wherever you are at home, at work, in the car, listening on the app, if you got the funk... Let us know how you deal with it. For me, a good warm bath, throw a hot towel over your face. I love hearing people's homespun remedies because a lot of times yes. they're earned over you know decades should, and generations. You right. should have a hot toddy, a good shot of hot whiskey with I've some honey and you know yes. make I've you feel doing, real nice and warm. Starbucks has an unbelievable drink, you guys, mm-hmm. called the Medicine Ball. Oh. Check it out. Really, really good. I don't even know what's in it, but I, I've I'm going to try th- it today. Yeah, I've been throwing it. They probably won't let you in. <laughs> <laughs> real and kind of funny. Sometimes. The, radio, the, the Fit Show.